welcome back to Fortune Finds. I am so excited about today's video. Now, if you know anything about me, you know that I am a NARS freak. And you also know that I gave up buying makeup and skincare products and anything beauty related for Lent. Today is Sunday. I film every Sunday and it is actually Easter. So for Easter, not only can I buy makeup, but I got this bomb ass palette that I have been dying to get my hands on. My beautiful, wonderful, loving fiance, who I love so much, not just because he spoils the shit out of me, but because he is just like honestly the most amazing person, seriously, bought me the NARS Orgasm palette. Now, if you are a narcissist like me, you know that NARS has expanded their orgasm line. If you know one thing about NARS, you know about their orgasm blush. Now, this made NARS the prestigious brand that it is today. They came out with a new line, which includes this beautiful, dreamy palette that comes with six cream products that you can use for your eyes, your lips, and your cheeks. So super versatile. That is what we are using it for today. That is how I created this makeup look that I'm rocking right now. They also came out with a liquid highlighter, a lip gloss, a lip balm. This is the only thing that I like really dubbed myself as needing because if you have been keeping up with my YouTube channels lately, I have a lot of lip glosses that I absolutely love that are a quarter of the price of what the NARS one is. The NARS one retails for $26. I've been loving Wet n Wild and a bunch of other drugstore ones that retail for five to seven dollars so I didn't need the gloss I don't need the bomb and I also have been loving this liquid illuminator from cover FX if you've been watching I've been using this a lot so I'm really excited if you are new here welcome please be sure to subscribe I would love to have you and also click the bell button this way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a video here on my channel I want to try uploading three times a week so if you click the bell button it takes all the guessing out you will automatically be notified whenever a new video goes live and yeah I'm so excited let's get Get into it so without further ado let's stop babbling and let's get on to the nars orgasm palette review look at how pretty this friggin is and it only gets prettier they're actually all cream products so that's perfect for me because i have absolutely been loving cream products lately so as i read a little bit about this i will swatch all the shades for you guys build your orgasm to your desired intensity using the six lightweight blendable satin cream pigments for eyes cheeks and lips each with a shimmer finish the palette features the cold favorite orgasm and complementary shades that are perfect for accentuating and exhilarating if you are interested in what's on my face already i did the exact same routine that i uploaded in my last video so you can go ahead and check that out. I will link it up here. This way you can check it out after this video or you can simply scroll down below and I will have everything else listed for you guys. So I need this to be speedy. So this is going to be a quick and easy look because it is Easter and as always, I am running late. So I want to start off with the cheeks and I think I'm going to grab this shade right here for the cheeks. I'm just going to grab it on my finger. It's so creamy. And I'm just going to tap it on the apples of my cheeks. And it's super sheer and it definitely what shade is this so i'm pretty sure this is super orgasm but you guys know i am like awful at reading them when i have to flip them over i'm gonna go in with a brush this isn't going on as pigmented it's gonna pat this all over the cheeks i feel like this is a better way to apply this now i can already tell since this is a cream product palette if you are super anal about the cream moving around and making your palette dirty like this is gonna get messy really quick and I like how that looks. I've been into like a subtle flush tone lately, but let's get a little bit more exciting. And I'm gonna pick up this shade right here, which is a little bit darker, and I'll just put this over top. I'm pretty sure this is orgasm. And I'll just mix the two going back and forth and just patting it on the cheeks. I'm gonna go into this lightest shade right here, and I'm gonna use this to highlight the tops of my cheeks. The highest points of my cheeks where I would typically highlight. Oh, I love this. I feel like this is like a very fuss free, easy palette. I always say like I find that cream products are so much easier and quicker to use than powder. I don't know. It's just like cream products has definitely been my vibe lately. The dewier, the glowier, the better. I'm going to take that same color and I'm going to put it on my brow bone. And just kind of like connect those two together to give you like that C shape. 
These are not honestly as pigmented as I thought they were going to be. These so far of the ones that I've used definitely lean a little bit more sheer so I think you can be a little heavy handed with these but just to remind you guys if you are going to use cream products which all these are cream just make sure that you don't powder your face and then go on top of the cream. What you want to do is really stick with your cream products so put your foundation on put your concealer on and then move on into this and then you can go ahead and powder afterwards but i'm going to show you guys how to do that so we will go through it together but just a friendly reminder before i forget i definitely want some fun pink tones on the eyes so i think i'm going to grab this middle shade right here and i think this is deep orgasm and i genuinely hope i don't get flagged on youtube for uh stating the names of these shades i pick it out with my finger Oh, wow, that's so pretty. That is my favorite shade by far. Maybe I'll bring you guys in a little bit. I'm just patting this all over. Oh, I love a pink. Clearly, I love pink. I'm really curious to see if these shades crease because they are very, very creamy. Like, they're so creamy. Like, when I put my hands in the palette, it feels like I'm, like, melting the shade. So we'll have to pay attention and see if it does crease. But again, like, you can see that pink, but it is somewhat on the sheer side. So what I want to do is I want to go in and perfect a little bit. I'm going to take this Morphe M432, go back into that shade. And I'm just going to, like, slather this onto the lid and get it anywhere that my finger couldn't get. So I can't really get this inner corner, so I'm just gonna bring it down there and sweep it on. And I think this applies really nice with a brush as well, but I'm kind of just like pressing it into the skin, mimicking what my finger was doing. I'm gonna go in with another flat brush. This is a Morphe JH41, and I'm gonna grab gold in the middle. And this is Orgasm Fever, and I'm just gonna put that on the outer third of the eye stamping it and dragging it in towards the lid, as I would with any other shadow. And again, super sheer, not that pigmented, which I'm actually shocked by. I looked at this and I really thought they were gonna be so pigmented because when you feel them, they're so creamy. Like you can see my fingerprints and everything has really translated into the palette. And it kind of just looks like a very light wash of color, very shimmery, very shiny. It looks super youthful. I'm definitely into it. If you were looking for something a little bit more pigmented than this, then, you know, then this isn't for you. Now I'm just going to wipe off this brush really quick. And I'm going to grab that shade that we used to highlight. I'm just going to pat this underneath the brow just because I feel like this shade got a little lost grabbing Orgasm Ecstasy, the lightest shade in the palette, one more time. Pencil brush, this is a Morphe JH38. Picking that up, and I'm just gonna put that in the inner corner of my eyes. I think I wanna grab this dark gold. Again, this is Orgasm Fever. And I'm just gonna put this underneath the lash line. I don't know if that was a good idea, but hey. Next time I would definitely use a bronzer maybe to go underneath the eyes simply because I feel like this is going to move and you know it's okay it's not bad but I don't know I don't really want that to move all over my face. Curl my lashes using my tweezer man eyelash curler. I'm using my L'Oreal telescopic mascara I would use my collab mascara because that has been my favorite lately but I'm in a rush and I don't have time to fuss over a new mascara. I definitely want to brighten up the lash line a little bit, and I probably should have done this before I applied mascara, but I will be very careful. So I'm going to apply a nude shade on my waterline. This is the Stila Smudge Kajal Eyeliner in the shade Nude, and I'm just going to apply this to the bottom lash line. It's very crayony and very pigmented. It slides, and it's kind of, it'll move around, it'll go in your lashes, so you just want to be a little careful if you're going to use this one. Makeup Forever, Wherever, Walnut, and I'm just going to line my lips. I think I want to keep it cohesive, so I'm going to 
hop into deep orgasm. I'm gonna go in with this lip pencil again. This is one of the ones that I bought on Amazon. I will link it down below and I'm just gonna dust this all over the lips. I like it. I think it's really youthful. I like how reflective it is. It feels really nice. It's like a very light, hydrating, comfortable feel. My only issue with using this as a lip product is that for me, at least whenever I go out, whatever lip product I put on, I bring with me. And this is kind of like a hefty thing to carry with you. But if that's fine with you, then I'm totally for it. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I'm going out, like I'm going to Easter at my parents today. I'm definitely gonna pack this in my bag, but I'm just saying it's kind of inconvenient. So that is my only thought. I just wanna highlight the face a little bit more. I know, you guys should be used to this though. I feel like I jump around all over my face. Like I don't really follow a method of madness here. So I'm gonna hop back into Orgasm Ecstasy, the lightest shade in the palette. Take that on my finger and I'm just gonna dust this down the top of my nose. On the cupid's bow, just a little bit. I'm gonna put a little dab on the chin, like that. Maybe like a little bit up here. You know, we're going for the glow. And now would be the perfect time to powder. So I'm just gonna powder the areas that I don't like when they get greasy. Rimmel Stay Matte Compact Powder, going in with a Morphe E20, and I'm just stamping this on my under eye because I don't want my concealer to move. And then I'll put a little bit around my nose, just like the nostrils, because I don't like when that moves. A little bit around my mouth, and like a dab on my chin. That's just where I get oily, that's where I don't want to look too shiny, but the rest of my face, I'm totally fine. To finish off the look, I'm gonna grab my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray to just set my entire face. Honestly, do I think that the average human would pick up this palette every day. No, I really don't. And I simply think that because it is all Korean products. I feel like we are just a generation of people who are used to powders. I can't see a lot of people picking this up, but if you have dry skin, combo dry skin like me, I would highly recommend this. All right guys, so a little change of scenery and a little change up in this video. So I know this was initially a first impressions, but if you read the title, I hope that you made it this far to hear about my wear test. So initially this was gonna be a first impressions video, but then I wore this product for, when did I put this on? It's nine o'clock, I was done by two. I've literally worn the NARS Orgasm Palette for seven hours. And I just felt like it was really unfair to not give you guys this little snippet. So my feelings on this palette have really unfortunately changed. I'm still going to use it because I do really love NARS and I think it'll be nice to wear in the summertime. But it's definitely not long lasting. I think that for the lips it's really nice but you just need to be prepared to apply a lot. It is not very long lasting. I think the product I want to say lasted on my lips for about an hour and then once I ate food it was gone so you're definitely going to need to reapply however it felt really hydrating and it felt really nice on the skin i mean my skin looks really dewy i think it looks really nice it kind of looks a little bit more dewy than it typically does i mean i've been doing the base of my face the same for quite a few days in a row now so i do feel like my skin is typically this glowy maybe it's a little bit more glowy so i'm not really sure if this is the nars palette that hung tight on my face or if this is just everything else and like on my eyes it kind of has faded into nothing and i didn't touch this up because i really wanted you guys to see it can you see how creasy it is i like didn't pat any of this away because i wanted to keep it for the video so i've been wearing crusty eyes for the last seven hours so i feel like you should definitely subscribe to my channel because that's how much i love you guys so i would not recommend this product and it really pains me to say that i just don't find it to be really long lasting it creases a lot however i am going to play around with it because i do really like the colors and i like the concept of the palette i love that it's all cream shadow maybe use the shades as like a base and then put some powder like normal shadow on top i think that would be best i think you need to really set the lids if you are going to wear this as eyeshadow so tbd i will definitely let you guys know i'll test it out in another video maybe one where we're focusing on the foundation this way you know it's not full focus on nars it's just kind of like a throw in playing around with it i will definitely give you guys an update but as of right now pretty much off of my face and this is what it looks like i haven't reapplied lips at all 
I do really like it. I would wear it on the lips. Again, it's just kind of annoying to travel with. Sorry for the back and forth with this video, but I just felt it was really important to give you guys my full rundown, as I always do. So I hope you guys appreciate that. At least, if you enjoyed this video, leave it a big thumbs up down below. Leave me some love in the comments. Let me know what do you think about this palette. Are you going to go out and buy it? What are your thoughts? Also, if you are not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so. I would love to have you. And also click that bell button. This way you get a notification whenever it is I'm uploading a new video. Vlogs are coming. This is actually my vlog camera. You're going to see more of my life and my mess of a life and it's going to be a good time. So click that bell button this way you get a notification when those additional videos go up. I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.